Let's try another variation of layout 10. I found some fall paper that had sunflowers on it. And I'm not going to use the sunflowers. I'm going to use the green on the other side, which happens to have a fern color. And I've already cut this twice with the metal dies. And I am going to make a two page. This is one page. I'm going to use this design on the top of one page and on the cor corresponding page to make one into two. I am going to put the same shape on the bottom of the next. So uh, this has just been cut, the die cut machine. And I am, <laughs> this doesn't look like much, but this is two different loops. And I'm just gonna split it down the middle because only a little bit of this shows. So just like before, when I showed you number 10, I find the part that matches here. Let's see which one matches. That looks perfect. I am going to attach this underneath this bowl sunflower. You'll never see the sunflower. And because I cut two things at once, it should line up perfectly. If it doesn't line up perfectly, it means I have the wrong one. Now it's very similar in color. So it's gonna be a little hard to differentiate. I always have this little edge here, just cutting it off. Now the sides are about the same. So this could be the top page or it could be the bottom, let's see. Here's the other one. Okay, so now for the second page, I'm doing the same thing. And really, the asymmetricalness of this still drives me crazy, but that's all right. So I'm just making a little bit of the edge show. Just to give it some dimension because it is a very, the solid cardstock is very similar. Now I'm looking to see which one I like best. I'll put the big one on the second page. Okay, for our first page, let's see what we have. Originally, I'm gonna I'm gonna just attach this because I know I'm putting it at the top. Now this layout has two pictures, but I am going to put three. We have some great bird pictures. Somewhere I have when they were eggs in the nest too, so I wanna add that when I find it. This was a nearby nest, but it just shows, sort of shows the time of year. I am very simply going to put, I think these are the ones, yes, put these onto a mat. Again, these are pictures from my daughter. She's just a great nature photographer. Well, more than that, she's just a great. And I was thinking, she put tags on these, and it says, here was the little family. She. I almost hate to cover it up, but I'm going to. These were morning doves. Little family. And this one says, Caleb was showing me another nest when he saw these tail feathers. This is huge feathers and <laughs> sticking out of the nest. It was right nearby. So instead of two pictures upright, 
I'm going to place this one and these ones very close together, like so. Now that I said that, I'm going to see which one of these looks a little smaller because this needs might need more room. Yeah, I guess it's not much difference. We'll just use it. So I'm going to go about a quarter inch in. And this one right under it. Now I am out of toffee paper, so I am just using basic craft paper. Hmm. I think I'm going to raise that a little because it's quite a big gap there. So I might even go up to it. I want it to be under, but it's not going to work. I want a little more white to show. There we go. And the rest of this layout. I'll put this right in the middle. So this is very similar to the page we had before. There's no decoration here yet. I don't know if there will be. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put that. I might even put the little scallop right on top of the nest. Now, for the next page, same, same border. Now, they were not equally sized on the edge, which would normally drive me crazy. But since one's top and one's bottom, I don't think it'll bother me. So I'm just putting the same type of cut border. One I started in the middle and one I just did end to end. But I cut two at once so they'd be the same size. And on this layout, I made a title page. But I'm also making a journal page. I have a great picture of my granddaughter holding the nest. This is post fact. <laughs> so I think just like the other one, I might have this overlap that picture a little. And on this one, we have a little chipmunk up in a tree watching the events. Great picture. When I put this together, I then have a title and it says, Each day is a fresh start. I have one more ladybug picture. I added a and I added some fireflies there. So let me attach this and then I'm going to talk about my journaling jot. There goes my scissor cover. There's Louisa. Now I drop scissors. I'm doing really good. Here is my chippy. And here is my journaling jot. I think I'll look at the other page. This has got a pretty wide space here. So I'm going to make this a small space like the other side, about a quarter of an inch. Interesting. Try that again. Okay, now Chippy is going to have a little bow above him. Because of the space, I made a different tail than the ones we've been using in our book so far. I think I will line Chippy up with Louisa. So, now that I look at it, maybe it should be lined up. No, nope, can't be. Okay. So I'm going to line up the bottom up with Louisa. There we 
go. I think I will put this on with just regular white glue. And I want to talk, while that's setting, um, I want to talk a little bit about the journal jars. This is going to be covered up when we put the cover on, and it will be like that. And this is where I'll journal. Because of vaccines being available now, I really think we have to have a fresh start. And that's why I chose the title of this. Each day is a fresh start. And during our corona isolation, that was a hard concept for me, just to grab hold of not doing much. <laughs> so you could put anything inside a journal and jot. You could put another title. I could put the word memories instead of having um, little leaves there. But I don't know if you remember, but a few weeks back, I gave you some journal jots that were free um, from Friday Freebie. And all I did was make them bigger. And this gives me a really easy place to put dates and a little story. If I want more lines, I can draw more lines or I can just write on more lines. So even though our little jots were very little, you can just blow them up and cut them out any size you want. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now this does not have a piece in the middle and I found some green and I found some pink and I'm awfully tempted. <laughs> to put some pink dots, <laughs> one pink dot in the middle of my bow. Get it out. To, I'm not sure if this is a hat, a mask, or what it is. I'm thinking just putting a dot. Let's see, I can't reach it here. In the middle there and then on my journal page which will not show from the front I'm going to put a little bit more pink so when you pop this page open you'll just have a dash of pink now this is a four and a quarter by six and a quarter and because this is a four by six photo this is smaller to fit into our flip flap and that'll just flip up and that white won't be seen. Now at this moment this is quite simple and there's not much decoration but I think I like it. These pictures, whoop, I have this backwards. <laughs> Don't have them lined up, have them the opposite. These pictures just speak so much without a lot of decoration so I think I'll just keep one bow. Have fun turning yours into a two-page layout.